you know, I think the first step really is kind of coming to a place where getting to a place, okay, because it's a process and we'll talk about that, but getting to a place where you recognize that mm, this is a new way of living, right? This is a brand new way of living. It's not just, oh, this thing that's lasting a week, oh, this thing that's lasting two weeks. This is a new way of living for all of us. So it's, it is a big deal. So it's okay. Your freakouts are totally warranted, right? Completely, totally warranted. Freak the fuck out. Go crazy, okay? I call it the get it out game, all right? So my warriors know uh, we play the get it out game, which is part of rewiring your brain um, and your neural pathways um, to help you move beyond and create new neural pathways and, and go beyond what you think you're capable of, like in our Grow Your Magic challenge. So um, also, by the way, my other ways of like, so not just adapting to this new way of living, but thriving in it, okay? I My dream, my childhood dream of looking like Crystal Gale is going to come true, like, really soon. Like, my hair is, it's past my boobies now, okay? Like, that's crazy sauce. And there's no hair appointments. There's no hair appointments coming anytime soon. There's Heidi. Oh, unicorn and hearts, yes! I love it. Don't talk about the ants in my house. Yeah, I found spring ants. Okay, so, hi. Oh, sweetie pie wants to say hi. Come on, come on up here. Okay, so, we're talking about not just adapting. How do we move beyond not just adapting and instead thriving in this new way of life, right? That's really the objective. It's not just survival. Living in survival, okay, we've talked about this before. We live in survival, it shuts our brains off to any new incoming possibilities, any freedom to think or be inspired beyond the experiences we've already had in our life, right? And also, by the way, even the really awesome experiences that we've experienced through our life, they still get clouded out when we're in survival mode, right? Because it's our it's our fight or flight, you know, that we're like ready to go. So kind of get into your place, yourself to this place of like accepting and not just accepting, but again, learning how to grow yourself during this time. How can you thrive? How can you not just survive? Who wants to just fucking survive? How boring is that? So just scroll, keep scrolling down here. Hey, Ronnie! Yes, girl, yes. We don't want to survive. We want to fucking thrive. I don't know about you, and you know what? I am not a man hater at all, but we are warrior women, and I do stand for a group of warrior women. I can tell you right now that, that my my group, my warriors, no. There is no survive. There is no just adapt. It is continue moving on this path of getting to uh, embrace your phenomenon and really get in touch with what that means because it's different for everybody. That's part of leading with your heart, right? Love hearts all the time. Okay, so so let's just assess really quick here, kind of the process, right? So the, the reality is, and part of playing the get it out game is addressing what's happening, kind of really acknowledging the fact is we're going through a grieving process, right? Um, and everybody's, at a di everybody's in a different place. We all come from a different backgrounds and all this kind of stuff that... Um, has kind of formed how we're gonna process this stuff. You can control that, however. Uh, I won't get into that right now, but you can control that. You can rewire your neural pathways, which is one of the things I teach my warriors. Um, so feel free to reach out to me at any point. You guys can always private message me, uh, whatever. Like I recognize at this time, we need all the support and togetherness we can get. So I'm happy to help, um, I'm happy to answer questions that are gonna help you get out of this survival mode, really, which just breaks down your immune system. And nobody wants that right now. You do not want to stay in survival, okay? So stressing about it and being on the news. And I know we all are so worried about all of our loved ones and our friends on the front lines. And thank you to all of those people. Like, I can't even put into words the appreciation for all the people on the front lines, the healthcare, our first responders, everybody involved in that um it's incredible so uh, sending we uh, daily send love and good energy 
to to all of those people dealing with this at any level. Okay, so so we have to kind of address the fact that we're grieving this old way of living, all right? So there is a piece of this that we we've lost something. Okay? That's very real. It's okay. Like so here's the thing. Um there's something called um normalcy bias. Okay, if you've ever heard of normalcy bias, which is kind of like shit hits the fan and, and I totally have used it, so don't feel bad if you ha if you find yourself relating to this. A lot of us do. We just don't like to acknowledge it. Shit hits the fan and we're like, oh, it's fine. Life is normal. We're just going to keep going. Not a big deal, right? So my kids used to say it to me all the time. They'd be like, dude, you can't just fix everything. Like, Sometimes it just sucks. Sometimes life just sucks, right? And that's a real thing. It's a real thing. If your kids are telling you that, like sit with them and let them grieve it. Let them get it out. You need to have a, it's like an infection. You have to get the infection out before it can actually heal. Same thing, same thing up here too. Okay, so we're grieving this pal, the fucker. Here comes Louie. Louie! Come over here. Come by mommy. Come see me. So, yeah, he can't, he can't be on camera when we're at our desk. So, so grieving that past life, right? And there's a process to that, right? So normalcy bias is a real thing is where we kind of ignore it. That's going to prolong the process for you. Okay. Just so you know, that kind of puts you in a, um, represses those feelings. And so that trauma comes out later or you've heard of acting out, okay? That's where we get that shit from, is where we just ignore um, shit hitting the fan, and and then it kind of fucks us up later, if that makes sense. So the actual grieving process, uh, is there's a lot of stuff, right? Denial, right? Denial, like we just talked about, you're confused, I'm angry, being angry, being frustrated, being irritated, feeling depressed, feeling sad, right? There's all of these pieces to it. Uh, and then we kind of want to, like when we're done, and it, it goes in a progression, right? When we're done with that, when we're done with kind of being angry and pissed off and irritated and, and okay, I've been sad, I've been crying my face off. And it doesn't mean you have to cry your face off, by the way. Going through a grieving process doesn't mean crying your face off. It's just acknowledgement of the loss, okay? so. So then we go on to try to negotiate uh, or bargain with the trauma. We try to bargain with it and try to kind of come to an understanding of it a little bit, kind of um, attach meaning to it, right? So what's the meaning behind it, okay? Uh, and then the, you know, the last part of it is really where we start to like open our eyes and explore our options now. Acceptance. And so now you can kind of see, okay, so now what's the silver lining? Louie, if you, Louie, come over here. Come here. Come here, fucker. Come by mommy. Come on. What are your options, right? So I'm just saying, I'm sharing with you, and again, ask me questions. Uh, send me messages. I'm happy to help you, but how can you move forward? It's not about adapting. It's not about just surviving, it's about thriving. You should continue to thrive in your life. It's just different. Now we need a pivot plan, you know? Like we've always talked about, you need your pivot plan. Oh my God, this dog, I swear. Louie, come over here, bye mommy. Come here, come bye mommy. He's killing me. Like, I literally, like this is why I have to do these on the floor because he's insane. And yes, we've got the rule cake sprayer. Um, okay, so here's the thing with this process, okay, this whole grieving process. You get to choose, okay, how long you're going to be here, okay? The longer it takes for you, the more miserable it's going to be for yourself. The longer it takes for you, the more you're going to compromise your immune system, okay? Because all of those feelings, that's what they do. They trigger hormones that don't help your immune system, okay? Being in that survival mode breaks down your immune system. If there's ever a time in your life to work on your immune system, to work on your health, 
it's now. Okay, you can start this by making a choice to move forward. And again, I call it the get it out game. It's what I do uh, with my clients, with the, with my warriors, my warrior group, um, and in growing your magic, right? In order to grow, you have to get the bullshit out, okay? So everybody has different methods of doing that. I have my favorites that I do with my clients. However, um, so are you going to em embrace the changes, right? Are you going to look to thrive instead of just survive and adapt, okay? Or are you going to drag it out? Are you going to continue to blame Karen, you know? Dragging it out, continuing to blame Karen. Guess what? Karen took all the fucking toilet paper because she was scared. Because she's got like 700 kids that she's taking care of. But who knows? Maybe she's taking care of her elderly parents. You don't know anybody's story. We don't know any, nobody knows anybody's story. You don't know where their, you know, trauma came from. Fucking be nice to Karen, okay? Stop blaming Karen. This is, this is a worldwide thing that we're all dealing with. It's not Karen's fault, okay? It's just what it is. Move forward. The more you can embrace it and accept it, the more you're gonna be able to thrive Okay, and really move toward embracing your phenomenon instead of being stuck in this kind of like a, like quicksand, like cesspool, you know, of negativity. And that cesspool of negativity is going to compromise your immune system. It's not what you want. Okay, this is a new way of living. Embrace it. Embrace it. Adapt and then thrive. Okay, so I recognize it's a process and don't blame yourself. Like if you, if you were being, listen, if you were blaming Karen, don't fucking get down on yourself, all right? It is what it is. We've, we, we've all had these thoughts because we're all in survival, right? You're not alone by any means. You know, there's a lot of assholing. I mean, let's be real. There's a lot of assholing going on out there, but I do always like to say assholing comes from a place of suffering, you know, by all means. Uh, stress brings out the best, you know, not really, you know, stress brings out a lot of ugliness uh, in, in some people, right? Just remember, you know, assholing comes from a place of suffering. There's a lot of trolls. I can tell you like do, what doing what I do. There's a lot of trolling, right? There's a lot of trolling going on on the internet. And so like I'm watching even some of my like, you know, like people that I, I know that are also, you know, doing online business. They're preying on the vulnerable people out there, which is so, I mean, it's ugly, it's ugly, okay? And I don't wanna say what a fucking, you know, kind of like cowardly motherfucker, right? That's like what I like to say. However, instead, I choose to have empathy for those who are suffering because that is the reality, okay? That is the reality of it, okay? That's all they know how to do. They're also in survival mode. Just know, and I'm going to just put it out there again because I've seen a lot of this. If you're getting friend requests from people that you don't know, you don't have to accept them. Just because it's coming at you doesn't mean you have to take it in. Okay? Just always remember that. Just because it's there doesn't mean take it in. Don't absorb it. Don't accept it. You have the power. It is your choice to say no or yeah, hey, come on in. Right? Just know that when you invite it in, how it manifests is, is totally, you know, it's up to you. So I always say no, it's okay. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope you're done blaming Karen. I'm done blaming Karen. I definitely had my moments, but I had plenty. It wasn't about toilet paper at all for me. I had plenty of toilet paper. So I wish my kids were home. They're not. They're, uh, you know, they're enjoying their life right now. What they have, you know, like we don't know what's going to happen. That's the reality. So are you going to sit and be pissed off and sad and depressed? Or are you going to live your life? Live your freaking life. This is the life we have. This is what we have. What are you going to do with it? Right? So get out there, kids. I hope you're able to find ways to grow your magic as well. Message me. If you have any questions? I'm happy to help you status stress mode and help your immune system. Okay, have a great day.